welcome everyone to my channel that is fast and easy maths which is dedicated to give you tips and tricks related to mathematics so students today i'm going to show you a trick where you can do any of these addition with a formula okay the formula is super super simple there are few nitty gritties which you need to consider that is why i've taken these three different cases when you have to use that particular formula okay so the formula is nothing but what first term into sorry plus plus last term upon 2 into all you have to do is total number of terms you just have to do total number of terms so in such a case like the first one if you look you have 51 plus 52 everything is going consecutively there is no gap okay so when you have something like this you will have 51 plus the last one which is 100 upon 2 into what will be the total number of uh, <coughs> total number of terms you just have to divide this by half so that is what 50 okay now this will change this particular formula will change for this one and for this one i'll teach you what to do in that case okay So here, what we have is fifty-one plus hundred is what one fifty-one upon two into fifty. Okay, so we can do the multiplication first. So this is zero and five, five to carry. So seven, seven five five zero divide by two. So this is now coming out to be three seven seven five. Your final answer for this particular question is. Three seven seven five. Okay. Now, coming for this one, students. Before going ahead, I would like to tell you all that if you like the way I'm explaining, then please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos. Also, don't forget at the end of this video, I'm going to put up a DIY question whose answers you all can mention in the comment section. So for this particular one, we have what two. Going up to fifty, so we'll do two plus fifty upon two into now the total number of terms in this case will be what fifty divided by two, which is twenty five. Now please understand, I can apply this formula only and only if all the numbers are either odd, they're following the odd pattern, or sorry, in this case they are following the odd pattern, or they are following the in, even pattern, or they are going one after the other. Okay. if it is a random series then you can't do this then if there is a diff definite difference or there is a definite multiplication difference then in that case i would suggest that you either do ap or gp okay if you want me to explain this in detail please let me know so in the comment section okay so now we have 52 <coughs> 2 5 50 is what 52 52 upon 2 into 25 so this comes out to be 26 26 into 25 so 25 square is 625 you have to add one more 25 to make it 26 so this is basically what 650 if you don't uh, if you didn't understand how i multiplied that's okay you can directly go and multiply this as well if you want me to do this again or explain this multiplication detail i will do that in another video please let me know so in the comment section so now this over here is what 1 plus the last value which is 111 upon 2 now you might be wondering acha iska kaise how will we find the uh, half of it so when you have something like this you add 1 to it 112 Divide by two, you get what five and six. So fifty six. Sorry, my bad. Fifty six. So when you have this, this is again one one two upon two. That is also what fifty six into fifty six. So now you will have to tell me what we get over here is fifty six square. That is what three one three six. Okay. So now coming to your DIY, you have to tell me what is the value of, uh, let's say, eleven um, plus thirteen plus fifteen uh, plus going up to ninety nine. Do let me know your answers in the comment section. So that's it for today. I will see you in the next video. 